Hey, what's up Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, aka Barnacles, and today we're finally firing up the Robo 3D printer. I had a couple problems with it out of the box, but we got it sorted. It's got a new print head. The thing is working beautifully now. So we're going to try to do a print with filament from Printed Solid. And guess what? It's not plastic. It's wood. Not the stuff guys get in the morning, like the stuff that you build houses out of. Duh. Alright guys, it's time to play around with that Robo 3D printer now that I got all the little quirks worked out. Now it's working very reliably and doing a fantastic job. So here's one of our first prints. I downloaded this. It's a little box. And uh, it's cool because it's got this like little beveled cutout here that this lid slides into. Kind of like an old style matchbox. And I was like, oh man, that'll be really cool. But the main reason I selected this item wasn't because of the item, but more because of what I'm printing it out of. This is going to be the first print I've ever done out of wood. Yes, you heard me right. Wood. Here's what the material looks like. I'll show you. It's a filament, and it looks a lot like those punks that you use for lighting sparklers on the 4th of July, and it kind of feels like that, too. It's kind of got a little bit of a gritty texture to it, and you feel it, and you're like, wow, this would not extrude, melt and extrude. It just doesn't make sense, but through the miracle of science, it somehow just works, guys. So let's go ahead and fire up that Robo 3D and print out our first item in wood. All right, guys, here the Robo 3D is fired up. Now, this is one of the first videos that I've done, so you guys probably aren't familiar with this machine. It's a different type of printer than the Ultimaker, my other one. This one actually has a heated bed, which the Ultimaker V1 does not. And it does its printing by moving the print head back and forth. And the print bed moves too, which is which is very different from the Ultimaker, whereas just the print head moves and, uh, and the foundation actually moves down, the print bed moves down. And uh, I'm using the new E3D print head, which pretty much solved all of my problems I had with the Robo. Um, if you're thinking about getting a Robo, check out my other video on how to fix all the little quirks. slide the top end. Now, all it took was a little sanding afterwards and this whole thing worked just great. But uh, I was really surprised when I came over and looked at the printer and saw how clean and how accurate this came out when it's printing with such a fibrous material like wood. Now, one thing to keep in mind is don't print fast. Keep it at 50 millimeters a second or slower and it'll come out perfect. All right, guys, so here we have the finished product. And you can see all I've done to it when I took it off is there was a little blob that fell off the print head. I sanded that off and uh, I just lightly sanded around the perimeter. Now, the funny thing is I used wood sandpaper and it sands perfectly. It actually sands just like wood. It even sounds like wood. When you tap on it, 
and you drop it and thump it, I don't know, it's got a lot of wood properties that you can feel the grain, you can, it's not the grain, but you can feel it. it's like the wood is soft. It's not like the plastic where it's smooth or jagged. It, it genuinely feels like wood. And when you sand it, like, like seriously, like wood dust comes off it and it even smells like wood, guys. Uh, I, I'm shocked that this actually works. This, this is more mind blowing to me than most of the stuff that I do, guys. And the best part is, when I took this off, I had to do a little bit of sanding on the edges to get it to slide smoothly together. I tried putting it together right off the print bed, and this just fit too tight. It was, it was like uncomfortably tight. So I just sanded it and touched it up a little bit. And you see, you just slide it right in there. And it's a sealed box, guys. I haven't tried dipping it in water or anything like that. I'm going to do some tests with the material when I get more of it. But you can see, it's actually pretty strong. You can push your thumb pressure down. Like, I'm pinching it really hard. And I can actually slide the top with my thumb, you know, pushing and getting enough traction on it because of that wood grain. But you can see we took the material here and turned it into this little wooden box. And the cool part is, hopefully you guys can see this on the camera, other than it's blending into the desk pretty well. Um, it actually looks like plywood because each layer is printed one by one by one. So you can actually see the lines from the layers. And it actually looks really cool. I, I want to try staining it and see if it'll absorb stain. I have a feeling it will, though, because it does feel really porous and really soft. But here, let's throw something in there. Let's, uh, here, we'll bust out some of my memory cards from my other 3D print and toss them in there. Put the top on. And now you can just throw it in your pocket. You got your memory cards. wonder if it'll even fit a USB flash drive. Let's see. Nope. But the cool thing about 3D printing, guys, is I can drag this into Kura, and I can make this box any size. I can make it 8 inches long. I could make it tiny. I could make it half that size if I wanted to. Um, if you look on some of the sites uh, that have 3D models, you can actually find parametric models where you can tell it how wide and how long you want, and it'll build you a custom box for anything that you own. And that's what's really cool about 3D printers. It's not like this is the only thing I can print. There's thousands of permutations of it. I can make my own if I want. I can use a parametric model and say I want it this deep by this wide by this high. It's actually really cool. But the thing that's coolest about this print by far, guys, is that this is wood. And it looks like wood. It wears like wood. It smells like wood. It acts like wood. It even sounds like wood when you tap on it. And that is mind blown, guys. So again, if you want to try some of this wood filament, Go to printedsolid.com, and they sell it in both uh, 3 millimeter and 1.75 millimeter diameter. So if you have a Robo 3D or a different printer that needs different filament, I'm sure that they can accommodate you. And I can't wait to get more of this material because one huge side effect of this is it makes my whole room smell like a wood shop. When you're printing it, no kidding, it makes the whole room smell like fresh wood, um, which just which blew my mind. I was actually expecting it to smell even worse than the PLA, and nope, it smells like wood, guys. Well, guys, you have to admit that's pretty cool. 3D printing in wood, who would have thought it, right? I mean, it's one thing to be able to print things in plastic, but to be able to print things in other materials like wood, and I mean, this isn't the only material you can print in. You can print in XT, you can print in nylon, you can print in all these different crazy exotic materials, and I plan to bring you videos of printing in all of those materials. But I have to say, this wood really surprised me because the biggest thing I noticed when you're printing, the whole room smells like a wood shop. I think that's awesome. I'm about ready just to run my printer and just have it puke in a blob onto the build platform just so my room always smells like wood. Also, the fact that the printer laid it down so perfectly and it actually feels like wood. You can sand it, you can file it, you can do your little modifications to it if you want. You could even probably engrave it. I haven't even tried, but it's just, it's really cool. And the different layers on it. I mean, they it looks like plywood. It's really, really cool. I plan to try to stain this. And if I do stain it, I'll do a video on that for you guys. Um, so I hope this video gave you nerdgasm. Please leave your comments down below. You guys know I'm a very responsive person. Come on over to Twitter. I'm on there constantly, damn near 24-7. So if you guys have a question, hey, shout it out to me. I'll try to answer it for you. So guys, again, hope the video gave you nerdgasm. If it didn't, check your damn nerd pulse. Anyways, until next time. Doesn't really taste like wood, though. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, favor, and subscribe. It helps me a bunch. Also, come follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I love interacting with you guys.